time on Dual Destinies! I'm Athena. In case you missed anything, I'll throw you in on this case. A murder made a splash in the headlines. So Boss and I decided to defend the fucking whale! Maybe you should give up on this one. Got a chance. As we desperately looked for clues, we went back to the pool and found some actual evidence for once. What's this? There's blood on it. Take a look at this. Where did they go? Will this coin help change Orla's fate? The big trial starts today on Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Next! Hey, look! I think I see something down there. <laughs> I knew it! Want me to go down and check? Haha, <laughs> nope, you can't jump in dressed like that! You'll drown under the weight of your clothes. No, I won't. I'm a pretty good swimmer, you know. Be that as it may, that pool's really deep. I doubt you can hold your breath for that long. But maybe Sasha can. Phoenix, look at all these coins I found at the bottom. Thanks, Sasha. So there really were more of them down there, huh? We seem to be finding them all over. I wonder how many there are all together. Including the ones I put away, there are 300 of them. They're for the show. Hmm, sounds like they'd be heavy. About seven pounds, I'd say. A little lighter than a string fish. Well, I'd better go put these coins where they belong. So, seven pounds of coins, scattered around the scene, one of them with blood on it. They have to be related to the case! I wonder how the blood got on that one coin. Wait a minute. Could it be? Remember how Detective Fulbright said they couldn't find a murder weapon? Well, what if these coins were the murder weapon? Huh? How could a little coin kill a grown man? Well, one coin by itself isn't much of a threat, but... 300 coins together could definitely be used as a weapon. All you'd have to do is this. You'd basically have to bundle them together. If you put seven pounds of coins in a bag and swung it at somebody, it would make a pretty formidable blood instrument, wouldn't it? It would explain how the blood got on this coin. Oh, I get it. If that bag of coins is the weapon, then we can use it to prove Orla's innocence. Bingo Athena. I don't see anything resembling a coin bag around here. Maybe the killer took it with them. Yeah, would certainly make it look like Orla did it if they did. You know what I think, Mr. Wright? The bloody coin alone should be enough to prove this might have been a murder. I agree. It shows the possibility of a human killer rather than Orla. Yes, this is just what we needed. Let's go show this coin to Detective Fulbright and Mr. Plume right away. Good idea. Let's hope they're still at the pub of danger. Oh, you're back. So did you find anything? Of course you didn't. Remember, even if you don't succeed, it's the effort you make that's important. Huh? Is he trying to console me? Let's show them the evidence we found. The one that points to a human culprit. Right, because we won't let Orla be put down. All right, Detective. All right, Mr. Plume. We're about to prove you wrong. Now it's time for you to feast your eyes on this coin. Please take a look at this bloodstained coin. <laughs> Cease and desist at once. What kind of man shows a lady blood? <laughs> she doesn't have to get so worked up. What are you terrorizing this lady with? Come on, now, let's see. I'm not terrorizing her with anything. We found this coin beside the Yorka pool. We did see a large number of coins beside the pool, but not one with blood on it. Well, we just learned that there's 300 of these, weighing about 7 pounds altogether. Now, what do you suppose would happen if a person was assaulted with that many coins? What? So you're saying the coins might have been used like some kind of a blunt weapon? Exactly. If the blood belongs to the victim, then yes, it's entirely possible. Huh. But I wouldn't call it decisive proof that the real culprit was human. You wouldn't! Why not? Because there'd have to be something to put the coins in to make them into a weapon. Without that something, it's just not going to be enough to pass muster. But I will say that your theory does seem to warrant further investigation. I'll call the prosecutor's office and ask to reinvestigate from a possible criminal angle. Holy shit, you will! Thank you very much! I really hope Detective Fulbright can convince them. I hope so too, Athena. 
Hmm, you won't believe the answer I got. When I explained your passion for this case and the police's investigation, they said that the prosecutor I mentioned earlier would be willing to take this to court. Really? So does that mean a new suspect has emerged? No, I'm afraid not. To be frank, Prosecutor Blackwell said that he just wants to prove that orca's guilt in court. Oh, does he now? What? It's Prosecutor Blackwell that wants to prosecute Orla? That's fine, Detective. Thanks for arranging this for us. Well, I must say, you're taking this rather calmly. Look, pal. Defending Orla in court was my idea from the start. And you bet your ass I'll do whatever it takes to save her. Hmm, in that case, I'll do whatever I can as well to see that justice is served. Mr. Plume, will you be a witness for the prosecution? A trial for a killer whale? I've never heard of such recklessness before in my life! But I will reveal the truth about this killer whale, and then write all about it. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Now, if you'll just come along with me. We have to prepare for tomorrow, and I still have to arrange for an autopsy. <laughs> I look forward to tomorrow. Until then, blue lawyer and uh, yellow fan. Ah, uh, what? Did, 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 did she just finger gun us? She just finger gunned us. I am not a fan! Well, at least we managed to get the case to go to trial. But how in the world do we defend an orca in court anyway? To be honest, I'm not really sure myself. Plus, Mr. Plume said Orla bit the victim. This trial sure isn't going to be easy. But I love a challenge. <laughs> then we ought to be just fine. Guess I should go over that swashbuckler spectacular you were watching this morning. Yeah, we can watch while Apollo cleans the toilet. Sounds like a plan. There's nothing decisive against Orla in the security tape, but that doesn't mean much. I'll just have to find a more concrete way to save Orla at tomorrow's trial, or else! Alright, Athena, let's head back. If I find Charlie wilted and dying, Apollo's gonna have a toilet to clean. Good morning, Mr. Wright. Good morning. Chipper as ever this morning, I see. I'm just thankful we actually get to have a trial for Orla. As a matter of fact, I just ran a few laps around the courthouse to get extra pumped. And I just splashed my face with water to get the sleep out of my eyes. Oh, I also queued the swashbuckler video so we can watch it any time. Oh. Oh boy. Nice. Thanks, Athena. Just might help our case. By the way, you have some serious dark circles. Did you stay up late watching this? What? Me? No, I, uh, just woke up early. That's all. Guess I need to cover them up. I get ragged on enough as it is by Prosecutor Blackwell. Speaking of being pumped, I'm pretty fired up for this trial, too. It's been a while. <laughs> that explains why your hair is spikier than usual. I mean, look at it. It's all super pokey and prickly and stuff. It's amazing. Uh, th 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 that was a compliment, right? Good luck, Mr. Nick. I'll be cheering you on from the gallery. Thanks, Pearls. It's been so long, I'm actually a little nervous. Good morning, Mr. Lawyer! Um, it, it's Mr. Wright. Oh, Mr. Rhymes. You came to watch the trial? Yeah, Sasha is back at the aquarium with the orca. So I thought I'd better come here to watch for her. Well, don't you worry. We're going to win for Orla. Isn't that right, boss? Damn right. Let's get ready to rumble. All rise for Senor Beardness! Court is now in session for the trial of Aura Shipley. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Hmm. Must we waste words on this? Prosecutor Simon Blackwell. Known as the Twisted Samurai, he's a prosecutor who's also a closet weeaboo. They say he never conducts a trial without his loyal Hawk Taka by his side. Mr. Wright, it's been quite a while since I've seen you like that. The lawyer image suits you. You look younger somehow. Thank you, Your Honor. And you look as young as ever yourself. <laughs> ha ha ha. Yeah, I'll destroy you later. Well, I have to keep up with you folks after all. 
By the way, has the defendant arrived in court yet? Surely you jest, your boldness. Did you not receive the memo? The defendant, Aura Shipley, is an orca at the Ship Shape Aquarium. Uh, an orca? What in the name of beard? Arrangements for this trial were made only yesterday, so I didn't have time to review. Uh, but an orca as a defendant? It's patently absurd. Hmm. Direct your comments to the defense. He's the absurd fellow who insisted on defending the orca in court in the first place. Absurd or not, I will carry out my duty to defend my client. Your duty to defend your crying aunt? Don't you mean your crying orca, Mr. Wright? Get a hearing aid, Your Honor. If what? we are to proceed, we must treat the orca as we would any other defendant. Every soul, be it man or beast, is of equal value. The question is whether that soul is painted in black or white. Take Taka, for example. He is as human in spirit as you or I. Not sure if Blackwell is a prosecutor or a slam poet. Just saying. Hmm. Orca or not, I suppose the defendant is still a defendant. And I vow to render my verdict fairly and impartially. <clears throat> now then, Prosecutor Blackwell, your opening statement, if you would. I suppose I can hardly leave it to someone who knows nothing of the defendant. Very well. Listen carefully. The orca murdered the owner of Ship Shape Aquarium in the aquarium's orca pool. The orca apparently toyed with the victim mercilessly as he died. A sadistic orca. What a chilling thought. And where exactly is the defendant now? Inside this. A uh, cell phone, Prosecutor Blackwell? <laughs> Time marches on, your boldness. With or without us. I borrowed this TV phone from the aquarium which will allow us to interact with the orca. A TV phone? Very well, the court accepts it into evidence. That thing looks so ancient. We will be able to view the defendant in question on this large monitor. Fulbright, prepare for transmission. Ha ha ha, you've got it, Prosecutor Blackwell. We will proceed with the defendant on telecast. Hmm. So that is the orca that stands accused, is it? Aw, oh, she's waving her flipper at us. Maybe she's cheering us on. Orla, wish Phoenix and Athena luck! Oh, it's quite cute, isn't it? And this adorable creature is suspected of killing a man? Orla's really pouring on the charm, huh? She is far from cute. She is a violent, reckless animal. That's right. The name's Bobby Fulbright, and I'll take over explaining from here. Now, if I could direct your attentions to this diagram of the crime scene... Following the report of an orca attack, we, the police, raced on over to Shipshape Aquarium. There, we found a guest who says she saw the orca and the victim from the visitor's corridor. As the witness was watching, the orca suddenly went crazy and attacked the victim. The orca was the only one there, therefore no one else could have committed the crime. It's not quite finished, but I have a portion of the autopsy report here. I can't imagine the terror of being attacked underwater by such a large creature. But attack it did. Prepare yourself for the grisly details, your boldness. The prosecution moves to introduce our witness. Fulbright? You got it, Prosecutor Blackwell. In justice, we trust! One brave lady whose fine sense of justice compelled her to speak. Coming right up! How dare you make me wait? Don't you know I'm a busy woman? I 
could have written an entire book for all the time I spent in that lobby. Ah, uh, Prosecutor Blackwell? Well? I am Norma de Plume, and I'm a non-fiction writer. Am I the only one who isn't telepathic here? Yes, you are, Mr. Wright. Looks like she can read into people's words just as well as I can read into people's hearts. Not everything needs to be a competition, Athena. What? Uh, Norma de Plume? The great non-fiction writer, Miss Norma de Plume herself? I've read all your works and enjoyed them immensely. Your million seller, The Great Grief of the Great Thief, is one of my favorites. Oh, are you a fan, Your Honor? I could give you my autograph if you'd like. Oh, wait a second. I could swear you look much different in the photos in your book. Well, I use one from ten years ago in my book so that the paparazzi won't harass me. Yeah. The judge seems so shocked. I know, right? The visual disconnect must really be doing a number on his honor's head. Could we get started, please? If I find you to be lacking as a judge, you will see your debut in my books as I rip your beard off from your face! Ah, such harsh comments. Ugh, you really must be the real Norman de Plume. Who knew Mr. Plume was so famous? Enough jabbering. Tell the court what you saw and keep it brief. I would thank you to not order me around. I am perfectly willing to tell everyone what I witnessed. It was the moment of the murder. Very well then, please proceed with your testimony. I went to Shipshape Aquarium to see the killer whale. As I was watching the killer whale from the visitor's corridor, it suddenly went crazy. I saw the killer whale bite the victim to death with its huge mouth and deadly teeth. Attempting to remain calm, I reported the incident to the police immediately. That adorable defendant really did all that? Hmm, <sighs> it must be much more vicious than it looks. Now, deliver your judgment so I may carry out the same. Protection! Um, the defense would like to do some defending first, if that's all right. Hmm. Must you drag this out with your tomfoolery? Hold it! The defense always has the right to cross-examine the witness, you know. A fellow inmate told me just this morning, if you want something signed, all you need is the document and a witness. Let me guess. They were convicted for contract fraud, right? <laughs> All we need in this case is the evidence and a witness to convict. It's as simple as that. Looks like I guessed right. Huh? <sighs> Sorry, but as Miss Sykes said, the defense has every right to cross-examine. Isn't that correct, Your Honor? Yes, of course. You may proceed with your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. I shall relish the sight of you thrashing around in vain. Speak for yourself, piece of shit. Alright, so first order of business is to pry this open a bit more. Hold it! So you're saying you saw the very moment of the victim's death? That is exactly what I'm saying! Oh, it was simply dreadful. It was as frightening as losing one's manuscript just before a deadline. I suppose for a writer that would be pretty terrifying. I witnessed the killer whale's horrific act, and I knew I had to do something, so... Ha! Huh. Interesting story, but nothing else of interest. That just leaves a perfect opening for me. Because that statement does not line up with the autopsy. Objection! It would seem that you're mistaken, Mr. Plume. I beg your pardon? The autopsy report does indeed say death thought to be a result of orca attack. But the actual cause of death is contusion from head trauma, not being bitten! What? But... But... I'm sure the victim was bitten! <laughs> I don't believe that can be true. The security footage doesn't show anything of the kind. Objection! Hmm. Just as I suspected. 
and I knew he would peek at the footage behind Fulbright's back. Well, what did you expect when he wouldn't play nice and share? But, unfortunately for you, the footage you saw was only one small part. Huh? Yesterday, after I decided to take this case to trial, I re-reviewed all of the evidence. Talker, the evidence I gave you for safekeeping. Nah. Could somebody please cage that fucking bird because it's getting on my last nerve. Hmm, very well, let's review the footage. Watch this. The orca is biting the victim. No way! I have to say that this appears to be very damning evidence. This is not good. This is not good at all. No. I can't believe Orla really bit him. And there's more. Look at this. This photograph was taken while the body was being examined. Hmm, there seems to be a strange bruise on the victim's right wrist. I'll have the crime lab examine the bruise and calculate its relevance to the case at hand. What's important right now is evidence that points to the orca as the killer. Look at the left side of the body. See the orca's tooth marks in the victim's clothes. Yes, they do appear to suggest that she did in fact bite the victim. I told you so! And then the killer whale swam up toward the surface with the victim in its mouth. Objection! However, in the autopsy report, the cause of death is contusion from head trauma. Objection! You are much too impetuous, right, Dono? Grant, the orca biting the victim was not the cause of death. The witness was mistaken about that. Then what explanation is there for what the witness saw? Did I not say in the beginning the orca toyed with the victim mercilessly? My goodness! After killing the victim, the defendant swam around with his dead body in her mouth. Just like any other predator toying with its prey. <laughs> Mr. Wright! The hearts of the people in the gallery are suddenly filled with fear. Fear of Orla. So the defendant bit the victim after she had killed him. But if that's the case, then we must still figure out how the defendant killed the victim. Prosecutor Blackwell, do you have a sound theory to give to this court? I wouldn't be standing here if I couldn't prove whether the orga's heart was black or white. But Orla is black and white. Her body, I mean. Athena, please try not to piss off the emo person. The witness also observed the actual moment of the murder. Think backward, mistress. Think back to what you observed before the orga bit the victim. Ah, I see what you're driving at. So that was the true moment of the murder, was it? No. Explain it in a way that even these simpletons can understand. There you go again, ordering me around! Stop that this instant! But whatever. I don't mind telling my story. I saw the killer whale before it toyed with the body as well. I saw it the moment it killed the victim by headbutting him. Tahorla killed the victim by headbutting him! That's right. It rammed the victim over and over again. Recall that the autopsy report stated there were bruises all over his body. Recall as well how persistent the defendant can be when she's attacking her prey. And we all just saw the killer whale headbutting the victim in the footage, don't forget. Hmm. That footage backs up Mr. Plume's testimony. But there's also something very important it does not show. Now, do you see what a menace this killer whale is? Objection! I'm sorry, but I can't allow your testimony to stand unchallenged. Looking at this footage, the orca seems to be headbutting something. But you'll note that the something isn't the victim! Uh -huh. I want to look away, but I can't. 
Even if it was the victim, you couldn't have seen him from where you were, could you? What? Oh, well, I suppose not. <clears throat> Misty Plume, did you actually witness the victim getting headbutted by the defendant? Let's see. Oh, I remember now. As I recall, a rock in the shape of a skull was obstructing my view. So are you admitting that you couldn't see the victim? Yes. Yes, I suppose I am. However, immediately after the headbutting, the victim came floating up. He came up from behind the skull-shaped rock, and his body was all limp. What else could I think except that the killer whale was headbutting the victim? Objection! But if you didn't actually see the moment of attack itself, then it's pure conjecture! Objection! <sighs> Must I do everything around here? How dare you speak so rudely of me! Don't make me wave my There's lipstick no at you! Need for hysterics. Clear your mind and recall how you reached your conclusion. Though you couldn't see what the ogre was attacking, you didn't need to, did you? Because you knew she was behaving exactly as she had only one year prior. <gasps> one year ago? That's right! Yes, that's it! That's how I knew the killer whale was headbutting sorry, the victim! sorry, can someone explain exactly what happened a year ago? If you must know, a very similar incident occurred only last year, in which the defendant murdered her trainer. What? The orca murdered her trainer, you say? Wait, what? Is this really true? This is not looking good for us. It's all in this book. That book? Uh, the Killer Killer Whale. That's Mr. Plume's latest work. I was just thinking of picking that up. Last year, the defendant killed her trainer in the middle of a show. The orca headbutted and bit the victim. The same thing she's accused of in this case. That orca killed two people. That thing is a menace. I never want to go to the beach again. Guilty, I say. No. Now everyone's even more convinced that Orla did it. We were doing so well. But now... Now everyone in the room has a bad impression of Orla. I don't want to think she did it. But it's hard to keep on believing in somebody who can't even tell me her side. Phoenix! Athena! You gotta believe in Orla! There's no way she killed anybody! You gotta save her! Please, I'm begging Sasha. you! Sasha! What am I doing doubting my client like this? This is the time to be strong! I believe in Orla, and I'm ready to fight for our clients. I'll take everybody in this courtroom on if I have to. Don't you worry, Sasha. We won't give up on Orla. We'll defend her to the very end! Thank you! Thank you, both of you! <laughs> we are Orla's lawyers. If we can't save her, no one can. We can't give up on her now! Hmm. For an instant there, you were afraid of the orca, weren't you? Right, don't know. When you saw the photograph of the victim from a year ago, you turned paler than me. <sighs> he saw right through me! It's obvious you have neither the guts nor the determination to defend the orca. It's true that Orla can't speak and I don't know her thoughts. But there's a certain someone who believes in Orla with all her heart. I respect the trust she has in Orla, so I'm willing to believe in Orla, too. Hmm. And what do you know about orcas? Nothing. That's what. So allow me to fill you in. Do you have any idea why orcas are also called killer whales? What kind of question is that? <laughs>